Hi, my name is Ben Moore, and what we have here is my final year project, aka my dissertation. Uh, I had multiple goals uh, I wanted to achieve for this project. One was to compare multiple algorithms and determine the most efficient in uh, different scenarios. This will be based on the time it took to calculate a path and the path efficiency. Uh, another was to apply optimization techniques to these algorithms to determine if there was an actual increase in performance. And the last would have been a, was a more advanced algorithm called flow field to demonstrate a more efficient way of multiple units traversing across a map. And another was to actually see if I could actually implement this advanced algorithm. Now I'm only going to briefly talk through this and not go into detail. Uh, if you want more information you can look into my dis dissertation paperwork that I'll uh, put on my website or you can download the project and just play around with it. Now what we have here are four different maps. We have map 1 which is the labyrinth map. Map 2, which is the um, maze map. Map 3, which is the terrain map. And we have a custom map, which uh, you can just play around with. You know, just do whatever you want, really. Uh, we have the minimum binary heap optimization technique. So all these with the min heap on implement the, the uh, minimum binary heap optimization. Minimum, minimum binary heap optimization technique. Bit of a tongue twister there. And then these maps all implement the flow field algorithm. Now, uh, these two will have a similar user interface, so I'll just jump into here. So as you can see, we have breadth first search, depth first search, Deitcher, Greedy, and A star. Uh, we have the diagonal, oh, no, we have the uh, different heuristic methods. Uh, we have different terrain that you can add to the map because the map's dynamic, and also the path finding's dynamic, so it will calculate a path in runtime. You can change the goal position by either inputting the values here or right-clicking on the mouse. You can change the unit position by changing the uh, values. You can also, there's a custom heuristic, so if you want to play around with it, you can change the, the values as well. You can turn off visual aid. Uh, you can spawn more units, and if you left-click, you can add more terrain. Uh, there's also a console log that will describe or give the information of the um, algorithm that was used, the heuristic method that was used, the time it took for it to calculate a path, the amount of nodes that were explored, and the nodes to the goal. And it has it for different units. Now, yeah, and it's all the same for the, all the other maps. Uh, we have like the minimum binary heap. Will only use is only used for Dijkstra, Greedy, and A star. And if we jump into Flow Field now, Flow Field is done a bit differently. So the whole map's calculated, and the unit will then check the uh, current, I guess, tile you'd like to call it or path it's on, and it will get pointed to the next place it wants to go. So as you can see, the, it follows the arrows because that's what's where it's being sent to. And yeah, it's, just, it's the same thing, unit position, goal position, and uh, yeah, that's it really. And uh, so that was just a quick introduction into my AI, my final year project to do with AI algorithms. AI algorithms. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, hope you have a good time playing around with it. All the best.